Nicole here for Netbook News and here we are on day one of the Migo conference. It was a, well, I'd like to say an exciting keynote this morning, but it was a, an informative keynote on the state of Migo. Uh, so basically what we heard was Migo is now really focused on more on business. We heard about Nissan um, committing to developing on Migo. We heard about uh, in-vehicle infotainment being a big push. We heard about IPTV, which by the way, looks fantastic. Uh, the Cubo Vision from Telecom Italia leaps and bounds better than what we saw uh, in CES in, in uh, January, just a few months ago, six months ago, leaps and bounds better. Uh, the in vehicle infotainment that is out in China, I saw that seven weeks ago at IDF Beijing, and even the skin for that looks greatly improved. So there are a few cool things going on here at the summit, even though the developers might be a bit uh, suspicious of the recent focus more onto business than onto consumer development applications. So I'm very curious to see what devs think of that. Uh, but while we troll the conference for developer opinion, let's take a look at some of the really cool things that we found at the conference. So we'll start out with uh, Novo, Novak, who basically does a Migo skin, uh, or they do a Migo kernel optimization. They're pretty neat because, well, they kind of remind me of XOPC. But the skin's really cool nonetheless. So take a look at our need finds at the Migo Conference 2011 here in San Francisco. So here we have, uh, this is a very familiar tab, but this is like the XOPC or the Wii tab. Um, but you can see they've created their own skin. It does kind of remind me of the well, XOPC UI because of the circles. Um, but if you take a look, we kind of have the same all well, the same functionality here. Yeah, and it does. Okay, there, there we go. It kind of works there. And this is just a, a, a demonstration skin, so it doesn't actually work. Uh, you pull out from the side to go back to the home. Pull out to the side. You open their media player. Uh, you have to select this over here. Then it'll show up in this area here, and then you can hit play. So these guys are looking to package, sell, and customize uh, Migo UIs uh, for OEMs, ODMs, businesses, uh, obviously anyone who wants to do invisible entertainment, they're looking to customize the skin for them. Uh, you can pull up the menu from the bezel, uh, various areas. There's a different Wi-Fi carrier, or the Wi-Fi signals around. You hit up the music player there. So, let's see, the incredible show. There we go. Play down there. So the I guess the the idea between between all all of their media players or yeah any of them is you select it and you put it over here. Now I'm not super keen on this, so I'm gonna close that. I mean it's it's it, it reminds me a lot of of that social scene. Uh, so here's the photo viewer. It's not bad. And you can see on this bezel here, actually, let's pull this up, close that out, go home. Ooh. Up there we have sleep, power, and internet again. So that was their app store I loaded there. Let's go back here for a second. I think it was this one that worked. Now a lot of these demo apps are, yeah, there we go. So you can see up here we have the frame rates per second. And this is actually more things on the screen that would normally be shown on traditional Migo. So we're getting the same frame rate. But we're getting a lot of different uh, factors on the screen. So we're patching in Yoshimi to the actual system so we can actually play the virtual instrument with Ivory. So here's the plugin right here. This is where you can do the tweaks and everything like that. And here's the patch. <laughs> So we'll switch a patch real quick. Um, let's load one up right now. Godfrey Collective. Let's see what this one is. He 
play with two fingers, which is kind of cool. We don't have the three finger salute yet, but we're working on that. And um, that's basically Yoshimi, so we can actually have and switch over and start tweaking the stuff. Pan it from left to right. Just crank up the volume so everybody gets their ears blown out. <laughs> and here's the virtual effects right here. Or not. So that's basically the gist of Ivory mixed with Yoshimi, which is really cool. And now we have Internet DJ Console, which is really cool. No matter what you're doing on the tablet, whether it's making a beat, whether you're DJing or just playing on Yoshimi, you can stream it live on your own internet radio station. And so, which internet radio station? Or like what, um, I don't have specifics yeah. on the actual server or what internet radio okay. station, it's, but it, it's converted on, onto your own. I know that for a fact. Oh, so it's your like, own internet you can change the domain yeah. name to whatever you want, oh, whatever wow. it is. So it, it's really, it's really cool. And then you can throw in jingles. It'll, it'll save the save the files. So you can upload it. Later. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. exactly. To say like so, SoundCloud? Yeah, to SoundCloud. That's, that's what, that's what yeah. you want it to be. I want it to be on SoundCloud. Right. So put it there, guys. <laughs> right. Exactly. And this is the, the, inner, the inner casing of this. This is where you would log into the local host, stream it, and that's where you connect to the server to actually stream it live. Very cool. And in case you guys didn't know about it, this is uh, Migo IM. So this is actually stock with Migo. So you can see... You can see me in there. Hey guys! And we're uh, just filming the demo. So this is another little feature, it's nice and stock, uh, that comes with Nico. Nicole's got here for Netbook News and here we have Horace and we're going to walk through a demo of CuboVision. Now we actually got to see this uh, this product from Netbook, uh, not Netbook, Telecom Italia. Uh, this is actually shipping and it's been shipping, uh, I think it hit the streets in February. Yeah, yeah, it hit, it, it hit the streets in February. So this is an actual shipping product and this is running Mego. So if we take a quick look at the top, we've got a power button. But we're not gonna, I'm not going to touch it, just, just, we're just pointing at it. Uh, uh, and then we have an SD card, USB. Turning it off would be a very bad thing. And then you can see here we have a ton of ports on the back, right? So in January, this um, this demo wasn't this good. Uh, the interface has been tweaked. Uh, we can see the video on demand. Horace, if you can play that for us. So this is actually streaming directly from the internet. So we can pick any of these great trailers. Uh, this is all licensed Italian content. So you can see the, uh, the scripted. Yeah, if we could play that, that'd be great. So you can actually see that the, the description is in Italian. Uh, we can't show YouTube because it's only licensed in Italy. And all of this is actually streaming from Italy. Uh, back in January, the playback, this took, I don't know, on average between 17 to 20 seconds to even play a, tra play a trailer. Uh, I've actually included uh, the video that we shot at CES in the article of this video, so please click the, li click the link below. Um, if we could go to back, back to the menu, if that's possible. Sure. So you can see they have My Media as well. So that that would be anything that's loaded on the box, and what? Uh, how, how many gigs does the does, does the box have? Gigabyte. Yeah, gigabyte, gigabyte, gigabyte the yeah, of uh, hard drive space. Hard drive. Ah, okay. So we have 500 gigs of um, hard drive space on here, which is great. All right. Yeah. Okay, so this is Dance Dance Mega Revolution, a DDR clone made entirely in QML. So no C++. So and then we have we have Intel App Hub's famous Bob Duffy taking right. one for the team. That's right. Doing I'm dance do the doing Dance Dance Revolution for us. All right. Yeah, yeah. So let's see this uh, let's, let's see this kick off. So hit it when it to left and now right. Okay. And back. All right. So that was a quick look at what we came across here on day one of Neo Conference 2011. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking a look at one of the more interesting open source operating systems on the market right now.